Well, Kelly, thanks so much. Albert, it's great to see you. Thanks for being with us. You know, let's start with the quarter and your forecast. You know, you forecast $54 billion in combined sales of your COVID vaccine and your antiviral drug on top of the rest of the business. But the stock is down, as Kelly was pointing out. What do you make of the investor reaction here? You know, when it comes to, to stock price, it's never a sprint. It's always a marathon. And, you know, you will have this volatility because some people are taking, uh, let's say, opportunities from uh, prices either to sell or to buy. I think we should look uh, beyond what happens this day. And I think uh, the numbers that we gave for guidance for this year were a record high, not only for Pfizer, I think for the industry, with the first time uh, 100 billions of revenues uh, on the midpoint of a guidance. It's nothing that uh, have not been happened before. And of course, one of the major drivers uh, of that guidance is your antiviral pill Paxlovid, uh, forecasting $22 billion uh, in revenue for this year. And that's a number that analysts said they expect could go up because you could sign more supply deals for it. You also showed how the manufacturing supply is expected to ramp really a lot toward the end of this year. At what point are you expecting it'll be a lot easier for people here in the United States to access this drug, that it'll be more widely available? First of all, here in the United States, every month will be better than the previous one. We are giving way more in February than we gave in March, and then we gave in January, way more in March, and I think significant quantity starting in April. Uh, so I think uh, pretty soon they will be, let's say, way easier for people to find Paxlovid. Right now, the states are... Uh, working reasonably well. Uh, uh, most of the states immediately uh, order all the allocation that the U.S. government is giving them, which is basically what we are giving them. And um, this number right now is very, way higher than what used to be a year ago, for example, uh, the first month of the vaccines. Uh, as you remember, we had more product than uh, the system could absorb. Now, this is not the case. Uh, also, I want to, uh, to clarify something, that when we speak about... Uh, a guidance and forecast uh, for the remaining of the business, but it is quite predictable. Uh, we are giving, a, 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 as usual, a forecast. We calculate how much we think, for example, uh, our products will be utilized at the current price and what that means financially for us. When it comes to COVID vaccine or uh, the pills, uh, we are not following this uh, process. We are uh, uh, giving only uh, the numbers that are coming from signed contracts or Contracts that are about to be signed have been agreed, the terms, volumes, prices, and we are just about to sign. Um, this clearly is not the way that the analysts are forecasting. They are uh, not having right. visibility in the context. They are looking to see how much we will do. I think this was the uh, disconnect. Clearly, it's expected that more contracts will be signed because right now, for Paxlovid, we are in discussions with uh, almost 100 governments around the world. And for Comirnaty as well, there are a lot of uh, governments that are coming with repeated orders.